Good morning, everybody. I am back. After three weeks of being off, um, we are back with our Making It Work. I don't know how I'm going to do this this year. Um, I would really love some suggestions on what you think I should do. Um, should I keep going with the four days and then the fifth day use my favorite, or should I use something different all five days? Let me know that. Let me know if you'd like me to change anything else. Um, I won't be wearing anymore. God, my eyebrows look funny today. Are they really uneven? <laughs> I, it's hard for me to tell that far away in my, in my viewfinder. I can't see that far away very well. It's kind of a blurry thing. But um, anyway, let me know what you would like to see different in this series. Also... Um, let me know what you would like to see from me in the new year. Or, you know, I, I probably won't do a whole lot of videos. Uh, you've seen a lot of videos from me the last three weeks. A lot. But we're going back to our one, maybe two a week now until um, spring break. And then I'll do a few more extras. But... What is a series that you would really like me to do or something new that you would really like me to do this year? I would love to know. I've got my new bathrobe on that um, my, my best friend from high school got me um, not very long ago. It is really warm, though, so I don't know that I will wear this every day. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Let's see what I'm wearing today. Well, first thing I have on is my NYX 3-in-1 um, brow. pencil and it's a, it's a good color I don't know that I'll use the other two things I will try um, most definitely um, one day next week I will use the uh, brow gel for my mascara today I'm using the arrow volume by Avon I don't know I just have trouble with Avon um, you know, their other stuff is fine, but I have trouble with their mascara. It's it's a dry formula, so it takes a bit to work with your lashes. It just doesn't do anything for my lashes. So I don't know what I'm going to do. My blush today is the e.l.f. in Ma Mellow Mauve. My lip liner is Wet n' Wild. And never pedal down. And my lipstick is Bare Minerals. Um, now I looked and I forgot. Make Your Move. It's a Moxie lipstick and Make Your Move. I got these a couple years ago um, in a kit. There you go. It's very pretty. So that is it for today. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Excuse the mess behind me over here. That is um, some clothes I need to put away in the other room that I just folded this morning. I did di did laundry Saturday, but I didn't get around to folding my nightgowns and stuff. So um, I, I only wash a few loads every couple of weeks. Now, they're big loads, so they're like four loads. But um, so I let, I have a lot of nightgowns. I have an obsession. So... I let those go until I have a pretty good size load. So um, that's why they're so mad they're piled so high. <laughs> I wanted to tell you about my MRIs. My greatest fear came true, and there is not a thing wrong with my back. He said it's all muscular. Uh, so he wants me to see a pain specialist in a town 100 miles away. I can't do that. I just... First of all, my car is old and rickety. I don't know if my car would make it. My mom is old. She's 88 years old. I don't want to have her have to take me and then suffer all day with her back. She's got a horrible, horrible back. A lot worse than mine. And we have got a pain specialist here in town. I'm going to talk to my doctor and see if I can get an appointment with him. Um, I don't know if it's going to do any good, but I don't know what to do. I can't retire. I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to look for another job because I can't stand it. So, I, 
pray for me today. Today is going to be a bad day. All week is going to be bad, I think. So I will talk to you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Good morning and welcome to Tuesday morning. Um, last night or yesterday was really bad. Um, you know, it's not, it, we kept up very well. I even left a half hour early because I was all caught up, which is good. Um, but I was in severe pain. So when I got to my car, I called my doctor's office. And they said to call the orthopedics office because they're the ones who did the MRIs and they're the ones who could handle my pain. So I called the orthopedics office and they said that if he was going to give me an injection, he would have done it last week during my visit. So they said um, the best bet for me is to go to the emergency room and they can give me something for pain. So that's what I did, even though I did not want to go to the emergency room. Um, and he wouldn't do anything except for give me um, some tramadol, which is a pain pain med. And he, he only would give me 12 because he was afraid they're addicting. I don't know whether I'd rather have be addicted to pain, pain pills or live with this pain. That's how bad it is. And I haven't taken any yet because I'm afraid to take too many because they'll be gone too soon. So what I'm going to do is, and uh, the pharmacist said to take them with my Tylenol um, arthritis strength and it'll kick up the volume with them and it'll help. She said they will work five times better. So um, I usually take my Tylenol right away when I get to work. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to take my uh, meloxicam, which is a, a um, it's for my joints, anti-inflammatory, geez. Uh, I'll do that about 10 o'clock, and I'm going to wait until our lunch break at 1.15 today. I, I'm going to see how it goes, see how bad it is before 1 o'clock, uh, and then take my aspirin and take my um, tramadol. I almost think that's not enough time. Or that's going to be too long of a wait. I don't know. Maybe I'll try try to get away about... There's no way I can get away at noon to do it. That's that's my problem. Um, and that would be the best because they're four, I can take them every four hours. And those last four hours are the worst for me. So... I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, I might have to try to break away at noon and run and take my meds. I don't know what to do. But while I was in Walmart, you know me, I cannot not look around in Walmart. I looked at their makeup. I liked, they've gotten a bunch of new makeup in there. But I didn't get any because they had like new foundations and stuff. As often as I wear foundation, it's a waste for me. Um, I need one good foundation, and I haven't found it yet. <laughs> um, but anyway, I was going through their Christmas aisle, and I found this. It's Minnie or Mickey. I will not use this just for Christmas either, because I love... This is a huge cough cup. Huge! And it's got... A double chocolate cocoa mix in it and they everything was half off I got this for four dollars otherwise I wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't have gotten it for for it was actually marked $11.99 down to eight dollars and then half off of that so I would not have paid twelve dollars for this I don't know that's just me I wouldn't have I'll pay $12 for a lipstick I don't like, <laughs> but I won't pay $8 or $12 for 
a Mickey mug. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, let's get into what I'm wearing today and keep your fingers crossed this is a better day. Okay, the first thing I'm wearing is my Catrice Eyebrow Filler. Um, it's okay, but it's very subtle. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty dry. I mean, there's enough wetness in there to, to get the job done, but it's it's kind of dry. Um, but I don't like wet eyebrow fillers either. So, but it it works. It works. Um, and then I'm wearing Voluminous Feline Noir by, I think this is L'Oreal. I think I look every time, too, to see that it's L'Oreal. It is, yeah. Um, I'm just kind of over these kind of wands. I like the uh, actual bristle brushes. It works okay, but I don't think it does a lot for my lashes. So, my blush today is Tarte and Exposed. My lip liner is a Jordana Easy Liner and Pink Glove. And my lipstick is, is um, Bite Beauty in Raspberry. This is not Bite Beauty. This is Stowaway. I got this in a, a Pop Sugar box a year or so ago. And it's pretty bright. Um, I dabbed a couple of times to tame it down a little bit. So, anyway, um, the doctor in the emergency room suggested I call my regular doctor and make an appointment. Um, maybe they can get me into the pain specialist in Sioux Falls, which is about 75, 80 miles from me. I My car is such a a crappy car that I'm afraid that I'd have trouble, you know, get there halfway and it'd break down on me or something. So I, especially in the winter, um, the spring, maybe I would chance it more, but, and then I will make an appointment with him, but we don't have a pain specialist. We have a pain clinic here. So I'm going to go to my regular doctor and talk to him about it. Um, Something's got to be done. I am just feeling, it's so frustrating. Because I feel like nobody hears me. Nobody's listening. Or nobody believes me. Because there's no proof because the MRIs were clear. Nobody feels what I'm feeling. And I am not a big baby. I can take pain. I've had pain since I was... A teenager. I was in a bad car accident and I've had pain since I was a teenager. But this is bad pain. This is really bad. So anyway, get off of that. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Good morning and welcome to Wednesday morning. Um, hump day. I made it through two days. Uh, telling you about my uh, pain yesterday. It was pretty off the charts by I took my tramadol, my pain pill, and my um, two uh, extra strength arthritis strength aspirin or acetaminophen at 10:15 uh, yesterday morning. And it was already getting bad by then because I didn't take my aspirin when I got there yesterday morning. Uh, at 1.15, it still hadn't helped a bit. It, I took my uh, Meloxicam, which is my, um, I can't ever remember this right away. It's, it's my anti, it's, and after that, it almost felt like it started getting a little better. Not much, though. It didn't improve it much, but that was only the first day. I'm going to keep at it, and but it it doesn't seem like it was as severe 
yesterday afternoon, but it was it was still bad, but it wasn't as bad, which is an improvement to me. <laughs> so, um, keep on keeping on, you know. And we were swamped yesterday. We I thought we were busy Monday. <laughs> yesterday was crazy. So, um, we made it through. So, here's my makeup for the day. I am wearing my um, Project Beauty makeup today. And I started with the Milani Easy Brow. Then I went to my Too Faced Better Than Sex. I adore this mascara. It is so good. Then I'm using my Milani um, Flower Brush blush and tea rose. I always have such a hard time getting these open. Then I'm wearing my clean color lip liner in mauve and this is about as perfect of a match to my lipstick as there could be. It is really close. And then uh, my Kat Von D in Lovecraft. So, I don't know, um, let me know on, if anybody has this, it's just, it's really stiff going on. Is it because it's older, or is that just the kind of map that this is? Um, I do, I love the color, I love everything about it, and we will see. We will see. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. We're supposed to be getting a severe storm moving in tonight. Who knows about tomorrow, how things are going to go. We've got a few people that live out of town that I know uh, at least one of them is going to stay in town tonight. So she makes it to work tomorrow. But the other two, I don't think will be here. And one's our, our uh, main cook and one's our grill cook. So... We could be serving sandwiches tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. We're supposed to get 5 to 10 inches. Uh, who knows? I would assume that if we do, school's going to be closed. But we've still got students on campus that we have to feed. So, anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. And, wow, it is really cold out <laughs> <laughs> it's like minus four out. I don't know what the wind chill is, but um, the winds are blowing like 40 miles an hour. So it is, the wind chill will be high. Um, we got snow. I don't know how much snow. It doesn't look like there's a ton on my car, but like I said, the wind is blowing really hard. So that could be deceiving. It Travel would be rough today, I think. Um, out of town. So let's hope the roads aren't bad on my way to work. Um, I'm going to get you a little bit more centered here. Uh, yesterday was a tough day again. Yet the pain just is not lessening. I don't know. I'm going to call the doctor either tonight or tomorrow and tell them they have to do something about this because I don't know what else. I don't know what to do. So anyway, let's see what I'm wearing today. Um, I'm wearing the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in Natural Brown. And that's what it looks like there. I really like this pencil, actually. Um, it's good. And then I'm wearing the Benefit Roller Lash. I can't say this is my favorite. I, I would not repurchase this. Just because I do not. I am really kind of over those kind of wands. I want the nat, the bristle. Either synthetic or natural. But I want the bristle wands. My blush today is the Kiko Cosmetics and Blending, Blending Wave Brush in 02... I guess Blending Wave is the name of a blush. Um, I really like this blush, but boy, you put your brush in there and the powder just flies. 
it is really powdery. So you have to really, really tap off your brush on this one. Very powdery. Then my lip liner is my Ulta Lip Liner in Rose. And my lipstick is Bite Beauty in Rhubarb. It is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I love it. I just think it's very pretty. Um, so that is it for my makeup. Tomorrow I'll do my favorites of the week. Um, like I said at the beginning of the week, I really, really would love some suggestions from all of you um, on what you would like, where you would like this this series to go for 2018. Do you want me to continue doing my, my Friday favorite or do you want me to do five different things a week? Do you want me to do something different? Let me know. Um, I am all for suggestions. Uh, I'm going to continue with this series, but I just want to do, I don't know if I want to do something different or if I want to, it's whatever you guys want me to do is what I'll do. So I will talk to you tomorrow, and have a good day. Bye-bye. Good morning, and welcome to Friday. Thank God. It, needs to, it needed to be Friday. <laughs> it's just been a long week. But, you know, yesterday didn't seem as bad. It, it was bad until 1 o'clock. But after I take that Meloxicam, that, um, it seems to be kicking in a little bit more with the, with the other meds. Um, that was one day. I'm not getting my hopes up. Uh, you know, it, it was still bad. It was, I was still a hurting unit when I left yesterday. But it seemed to let up a little bit. So, hopefully... Anyway, yesterday morning, um, when I got up, it was 55 degrees in here, I told you. And got home yesterday afternoon, it was 50. 50 freaking degrees. So I called my landlord, and she, she called the furnace guy, but she didn't think it was a furnace. So she has one of these detector things that you squeeze, and, and it, it shoots a little red... Um, dot on on whatever you're trying to measure the temperature of and um, the furnace was doing its job but we finally figured out that heat is escaping or the cold air is coming in the heat is escaping through um, there's a spot in the roof that I've had trouble with all summer with um, the gutters leak there and so it just kind of pours down instead of you know goes where it's supposed to and um, so she's going to try to get somebody over here really soon to um, to plug that hole until they can get the roof fixed this summer but she doesn't know they can't really use the foam insulation for a quick fix because it's too cold. And it's not supposed to get warm enough for a while. So I'm using my space heater. She said that she would um, make it right with me because my electric bill went up $30 um, in the last month. Some of you may not think that's a whole lot, but to me, that's a lot. Um, $30 is a lot of money when, you know, on an electric bill that is supposed to be down, you know, about 20 or a little little over 20. It was um, well over 50, almost, almost $55 this month, which is a lot for this little apartment. So um, she said she would make that right with me, you know, for running my space heater. And it what I actually sweat. During the night, <laughs> I went to bed with uh, a thermal nightgown and my robe. This robe is so comfortable. Um, I slept in it all night. didn't bother me a bit. I was very comfortable. I was toasty. Um, it, I 
slept well. And I even was able to take a shower this morning without freezing my butt off. So, anyway, what I'm my favorites of the week. Now, disclaimer as always on Fridays, these may not be my actual favorite favorites, but they are well up there. Okay, for, so the first thing I wore was my e.l.f. Um, what's it called again? Instant Lift Brow Pencil. It worked yes, better yesterday than it did today. <laughs> Maybe it's just the, the, the hand that used it, right? Okay. So anyway, and then my Better Than Sex Mascara out of my um, Project Beauty. This is probably always going to be my favorite or a really close. So um, my favorite blush this week was the Tarte Exposed. And my favorite lipstick is, lip liner is the, um, I, I wear these two in together because they work well together. Um, this is the Clean Color in Mauve lip liner. And then the Kat Von D in Lovecraft. And the only reason I chose this, you know it, it's not my favorite formula because it kind of tugs when you're putting it on. It is a true matte. It is really matte. But this lipstick was on after I until lunch and then I I don't know to tell you the truth I didn't go to the bathroom after that but um, until I ate lunch at 1 15 it was on because I went to the bathroom right before lunchtime and it was there so um, you know that's the whole reason that I chose this lipstick so if I could find a mat that is not uncomfortable. It's not uncomfortable on my lips. Um, if I could find a lot of mattes like this that worked like this, I would choose them because I like a lipstick that stays on a little while. Isn't gone with the first, you know, sip of coffee or whatever. So anyway, I hope you guys had a great week. I hope you have a great weekend. And I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye.